Squeeze got a busy night. All so, right. who's doing the intro today? Me, I'll do it. Okay. You got to tell me when you're recording. <laughs> I'm, there's going to be like a two minute silence at the beginning of the recording, <laughs> just because I was recording. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> this is why we don't get HJK to do things. <laughs> Hello, folks, and Everyone's welcome to down. Zcast for the second week of the main season. Get week one was interesting. Your, you're in for a lovely, calming. Shut up, HJK. No, no. With, with that voice, HJK, you're just, make, HJK you're just making people squad. feel awkward. Lord Rebel and Squee913, say hello. You two. No. <laughs> this, I'm. I'm, I'm so scared. scared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what should we talk about first? I'm so scared. We should talk I about this shiny kick thing. button. <laughs> the worst part is his accent makes it even creepier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the English accent's supposed to be calming and, and, and cool and, and fun to listen to. And now He's it's saying just this creepy. isn't calm, Squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> This has me on the edge of my seat, <laughs> scratching my eyes out. <laughs> Don't you touch me! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi. <laughs> oh, God, that's painful. We've just lost everybody now. We, All we're because like, of HJK. We're like, we're like, who wants to do the intro? And is like, I got this. And we're like, okay, JK, we believe in you. You failed us. <laughs> you failed us miserably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess going through the week's matches would be an interesting place to start. Might be, you know, be slightly relevant. Place to start. Mm, mm. Yeah. Who's gonna yeah. go first? Uh, well, hang on, I let me the... pull up matches. Well, I have them up here now. If you we'll get on with it in the Okay. First one was Valkyrie versus Cold. It was an interesting one. Actually. We all bet on Cold. We did all bet on Cold, and we all, funnily enough, got our money's worth. <laughs> um, Barely. Hey, yeah, hey, hey, hey. Cool, Meta there. Cooler had like two health bars left. What are you talking about? He was fine. Mr. 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 <laughs> I won't throw a supernova for the freaking life of me. But here's Bastard. some Fisher cuts. <laughs> oh, Mecha Freezer was awesome. <laughs> I'm sorry, but those Fisher slashes are so good, especially with Super Up 2. It's like having yeah. a Destructo disc, because I, I was thinking about this. They've got actually got a greater coverage in terms of area than the Destructo Disc has. And they also have a slight amount of homing. They're actually right, right. really efficient move. You guys keep on talking. My cat got up to a place where he can't get down from, and he's looking at me scared. So, you guys keep talking about it. I'll be right Calm back. down, kitty. <laughs> hey, okay, dude. Stop doing that. It's really creeping We're me out. We're coming to get you. Um... But no, it was, it, was def it was definitely an interesting one. The, mm. the start... I mean, the, the problem the problem with the Val you have starting off against the Vals is they start out kicking literally with Fasha they just start out kicking it's scary but don't look at me like it's my fault <laughs> it's always your fault <laughs> like how the hell did you even get up there there's no way you can get down <laughs> The thing is, what we, what we don't know is it's actually hanging off the building outside. <laughs> it's not like a cupboard or something. It's yeah. hanging off an aerial. <laughs> Help me. I'm sorry for that interruption. You were saying? <laughs> I was saying that Fasha usually comes out kicking. Mm -hmm. And despite that, King Cold only lost to her by about a health bar, which didn't end up making much of a difference when Cooler came out. No, no, he he did he did rather well. He did yeah. a lot better than he's been doing in the preseason. Yeah, God, yeah, it was it was quite painful in the preseason, but he came out of the stocks and it pretty much justified the decision actually to keep Frieza out for that match. It was a good choice to make, I think. Yeah, yeah. It, it well, was, anytime you win, it justifies your decision. No, absolutely. <laughs> it wasn't. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't a convincing domination. There were plenty of times that we could have lost. Right. Um, especially if maybe Aurelia had done better or something like that, but. Even then, was it really in the match? God, yeah. I don't even remember. <laughs> yeah, she. No, she was. She mm. freaking threw two rocks in the face. Oh yeah, oh, and yeah. it didn't make a difference. Even without Supernova's team called, is terrifying. Mm. Yeah, one death ball. That was it, and that took down like that finished off Asha. That was it. It was crazy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it was good match though. Good match. Mm -hmm. Okay, match. Are we gonna go match two? Sure. Okay. Sure. It was Booze versus the Saiyans. Squeeze said the Booze, but we said the Saiyans. 
Turns and out we, we were wrong and Squee was correct. <laughs> <laughs> That's God, not going to happen very much this week, I'm afraid. Oh, man, it was great because in the chat they were talking about, I wonder why they started off with Evil Boo. He's their worst player. Mm. You start <laughs> annihilating the Saiyans. Yeah. Like, Come damn! On, it seems almost that the preseason really was just that, the prelude to the Boos kicking the shit out of everyone. Because yeah. <laughs> that was... That was, that was what, two characters? Yeah. That was yeah. scary. That was just insane. Was, was really especially given we, we expected the Saiyans to be one of the stronger teams this season. And especially <laughs> yeah. since, I mean, truth be told, the Evil Boo and Majin Boo people consider the worst or the, the weakest of that team. Mm, it's weird. Well, I'd you. say, I shouldn't dispute that. While I'd say Kid Boo's arguably the strongest player on that team, I wouldn't say any of the others. Oh, I would say weakest, weakest not weak. Mm. I said weakest, not mm. weak. Even even then, I would I wouldn't say you could really count on any of them to be the weakest in that team yeah. either. In yeah. all in all in all seriousness, because there are times when I've said or when I've thought that Gohan Boo is among the worst on that team just because he hasn't performed for a few weeks running. Then there's the times that Margin Boo doesn't perform or Evil Boo doesn't perform. Right. If anything, I'd probably say it's Uber at the minute. But he was pretty yeah, impressive. I'd say Ooh, was probably, yeah. Ooh, What was with the Kamehamehas in that match? They could not miss. <laughs> I, th- I don't know. I, th- I think they fired like six of them and hit with like four. It was yeah, crazy. That was pretty impressive. <laughs> and we're talking like charge too. Hmm. I had no idea what was going on there. Apparently the Saiyans just had this great ape form around them, except they didn't have the power of it. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's an or. Yeah. yeah. It, just made it, really was, it, was, it was not a, a surprising victory for me. No. But it definitely was surprising how it went down. Yeah, I, I, no, I'd never, I'd never be surprised to see the booze win, no matter what's happened in the past. But yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, the way they, the way they won in the domination, pretty much that it was, was, was scary. Yeah. So, I guess two rights. Sadly, it's all downhill from here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, There's like one upstep, down. but it's an upstep in line with me. So. <laughs> <laughs> the, so next match, the next match, uh, uh, margins. Which Squee thought would win uh, against uh, the Super Sens, which me and Rebel rightly thought of course, would uh, of course. bring victory. They almost won. Yeah, they they, did. did they really? Or was it just I don't know. They, 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 they did get pretty trounced at points. Yeah. I, still did love, right, though, I, I still love. I still love that um, ultimate just driving trunks into the ground. Yeah. That was completely. That was, that, was, that was a bit mean. <laughs> like, I was on. like, I was like, I don't even know if there's a trunks left after that. <laughs> <laughs> just three pieces of his body across the bloody planet, <laughs> and one of them's completely indistinguishable. <laughs> yeah. no, no, the rest was... is just hair. Yeah. That was that was, and the funny part was, it wasn't like either of the teams fought badly because I mean, Deboer and yeah. and Maju, I mean, they no, both they did. were they were incredible. Yeah, Maj- Deboer was just evil impulse after evil impulse. Yeah, Maju Vegeta <laughs> did not show up. No, uh, well, which is good. Oh, he good maybe did, but we were just you know, so. so uh, but uh, it, but both teams had a really good showing, and yeah, Super Saiyan just kind of pulled ahead, and and De- it was just way too much for Deboer to catch up with. Yeah. He tried, he tried, though. He, God did Man, he, he tried. <laughs> I was like, why aren't you doing your ultimate? Oh, because you'd rather just spam evil impulse. Okay, yeah, well. <laughs> that makes perfect sense to me. Yeah, I didn't go with that. From halfway across the map. And still hit. Mm. Although some Gohan of it, was some sitting of it was, on his ass doing fuck Well, some of, it, some of it was quite interesting, because a lot of the time through the week, there's been some really interesting setups during this week. I think the booze match was one of those where that did it really, really well, whereby they fired off a load of key blasts, which kept their opponent trying to actually deflect them, and then just fired off a bloody super. So you basically trapped their opponent. You either get hit and stunned, and then maybe hit, or you try and block them and get your In face process, pulverized. Yeah, get it's, right. And it's a really, really useful way of the AI actually beating itself. It's very nice. Mm-hmm. If it only did it more often, it does do it quite a lot, actually. It's weird. Um, so the Super Saiyans pulled ahead in that one, uh, mm-hmm. uh, ahead of the Majins, which was a very important division match. Yes, 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 it was. Yes, oh. it was. <laughs> so, so was the Valkyrie and the Colts, for that matter. Mm. Yes, no, that's, that's very true. Yeah. All right, next actually, up. Hang on, can I, oh. one second. Yeah. One. Oh, okay, so Booze won. Okay, fair enough. I was just wondering who was a top of our North Korea. Okay, next match is Rugrats versus DB Warriors. What the fuck happened? That was awesome! I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. that me. was bloody weird. Okay, Cell Jr. comes out of the gate like a fucking badger. That was <laughs> insane. And 
the rest of the team just didn't exist. It was like it wasn't. I was because I was thinking. I was thinking about it as I was as I was watching the match because I actually knew the result previously because um, I think someone had put a question somewhere about DB Warriors and had said. I don't know, something along the lines mm, of how yeah. did our victory go or something like that. Anyway, so I saw that and thought, oh, all right, well, uh, how, how did that happen? I was looking at it going, is that question a joke? <laughs> and mm. it wasn't as if Dragon Ball Warriors were performing particularly well. Like, you well, wouldn't, you you wouldn't look at it and say it was an amazing performance. I would start to, to differ. Uh, amazing performance, maybe not. But if you look at what they did, Kid Goku pulled out an ultimate. Early Goku pulled out an ultimate. Early Goku ultimate um, was useless, though, early, pretty much. Early Goku was wait, 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 no, 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 no. Early Goku was pretty good. He hit with a Kaioken attack. He did decent melee. He hit with a spirit bomb and a solar flare. I mean, it wasn't his best performance ever, but it was pretty good. I mean, it as was, in his ultimate was useless, as in it was kind of wasted. Well, oh, oh, yeah, it was yeah. kind it was of wasted. It was a wasted. bit of a waste. On that it one. was a bit of a waste, especially since he has Style of the Strong. No, it yeah. was a bit of a waste. Which, by the way, later on, I'm going to, Durangel and I worked some, crunched some numbers on that, so we're going to actually, because in case anyone starts complaining about trunks, we have actual numbers for you guys, it's so. Super plus to two. To calm isn't? everyone down. <clears throat> yeah, no, he had super plus one, but, and an Ignatian. Well, that's why. That but we'll get to that after the match. Anyway, right, yeah. That's next in the schedule. Yeah. Yeah. Next yeah. match is the schedule. Jesus. Oh, by the way, wow. just so you know, I thought DB Warriors would win. Uh, those two thought. No, that. no, no. You didn't think oh, no, no, DB okay, Warriors would match, win. You wanted Gohan. to go slightly <laughs> different to the, uh, yeah. Squee and I. That was what oh, it was. And look what happened. I, I won. So uh, yeah. All right, muscles versus Gohans. None of us got. This. By the way, just so you know, I got Gohans as well. Uh, he did get going. <laughs> as well. Oh man! Just, just I should have. I, I, I. The weird part is, God. I really thought the Gohans were a much stronger team. I just thought mm. that they were going up against Muscle. But yeah. man, did they prove? Me here's, wrong. here's the thing, actually, and it's worth mentioning about a lot of the matches um, this week, especially the ones sort of further down the list. So basically, after the Super Saiyans match, is none of the results surprised me. It's like, you don't look at any of the results, not even Muscles against Gohans, especially if you look at the match last season that the Gohans did against Muscle. Mm. You don't look at any of those matches and go, and look at the results from them and go, holy shit, that was completely unexpected. Even Rugrats' Dragon Ball Warriors, even Earth Defenders' Derp, the victories aren't, not what we expected, but they're not hugely surprising. You know, I wouldn't, you wouldn't it's ever a, say these teams are so out of class that that was a complete fluke, like much Warriors like Deeper Warriors muscle. muscle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right. To me, to me, the victories themselves are not what's incredibly surprising. How they all went down is what's incredibly mm. surprising mm. to me. Those mm. matches, the, the, I would say half the matches in this week were just spectacular and just... Where the hell did that come from? No, yeah, absolutely. Especially um, most Gohan's, teams going behind and such. Gohan's and the Muscles. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, but say a man is dick, <laughs> and I, I feel sorry for Garlic Jr. And then Muscle came back for a while, and even though you know Team Gohan did kind of annihilate Roshi, Roshi still got an ultimate in there. I mean, Roshi was still doing damage, yeah. uh, and then Broly came out and just started annihilating people, and uh, he just couldn't catch up. But yeah. no, the, the, the Gohans were the team that I thought Gohans always should have been. Yeah. I think Which what, is a really strong contender. The kind of um, reason for that result, actually, I would say, is because Muscle underestimated Gohans in their rotation. I completely agree. They took out 13. Mm-hmm. Mm, I, 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 here's the thing. I, was, I don't know if I mentioned this last Zcast we did. I don't remember, like, a day ago. <laughs> but <Yeah. laughs> it, here's the thing about the rotations. You're going to have to rotate your stronger players out at some point. Right. And much like the Valkyries against Cold, I mean, if that match had gone to a point where the Valkyries won, it would be, oh my god, you know, you should have kept Freezer in there, you know, he would have turned that around completely, it would have been way more likely that Cold would have won that one. The same goes, I think, for the Gohans against Muscle, but here's my take on it. You have North Kai teams, and then a couple of other teams that are hugely threatening in the league, and you want really to have to stand a chance later on in the league you want your best players to be going out for those matches as well to maximize your chances certainly if most of the mentalities if you look at most of the mentalities for rotation at the minute you want your best players 
for those more difficult matches. And while the Gohans are definitely threatening, I would not say that, you know, they're not... If you look no, at the way that the no, Boos performed here's, here's... and the way Super Saiyans performed, you know, it's the first match of the season, okay, but there's still however many, like, 14 more weeks to go. I, I agree with you, but I think that they didn't underestimate the Gohans in wanting to rotate one of their strongest players out. They underestimated the Gohans in rotating their number one player. Because yeah. I, while yeah. I agree, I agree that, yeah, I mean, you look at the Gohans and you think, okay, this is a time to, to definitely have Roshi in and have someone else out. But they have your both strongest their weakest, player, yeah, and the strongest your out. strongest player out against the Gohans is, is a miscalculation. You take him out against Derp, against Dragon Ball Warriors, and of course, it can always bite you in the butt. It's true. Mm. But I really think that Gohans showed in the preseason that they are strong enough that you do not take out your strongest against them. Here's a question for you, mm-hmm. on, in the same sort of vein then. If, if you go by you take out your strongest player for the weakest matches, mm-hmm. who do you take your strongest player out? Who are arguably the weakest teams in the league? Then? Right now? Mm. I would say your best chances would be against Derp, Dragon Ball Warriors, and now the last one's a bit iffy. But I would, on- I would actually choose, say... Um, as crazy as this sounds, I would actually choose maybe the Blades or the Rugrats before I would choose Gohan. Interesting. Mm-hmm. And that's that's basically based upon uh, a fantastic preseason from the Gohans. Hmm. Yeah, it was it was a bit, it was a pretty good beginning to the season as well. I I still think I still think it's not a massive mistake by muscle. No, Bearing in massive, mind, you also no. want to give some of your less great players. At least some kind of additional testing, so you've got a well, chance to work on them as well. Well, here's the, mm. the other theory: is a massive mistake? No, of course not. They had the right mindset, but if they had say not even taken out Roshi and left in thirteen, if they had taken out one of the medium players, like let's say Bojack, and put back in thirteen, mm. they very well could have won that match. And there's something else to keep in mind too: the first week of the season is always a little different. Winning or losing the first week of the season is a huge morale boost or, 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 or can be a devastating blow. And it can set the tone for the whole season. And now, because right now, all the teams that won are feeling great. This is a great start to the season. We can do this. All the teams that lost, it's a matter of, okay, can we bounce back? Yeah. So that, that first week, even though that first week doesn't matter much in the long run as far as standings go, it's a huge morale boost or uh, mm. blow. Yeah. It always is. I would say this is actually this probably was one of the most important matches Muscle has for the net for the first six weeks of the season. This is the first. I mean, if you think about it, they're now at a, a match disadvantage to us and Booze, mm-hmm. whereas they could have been they could have been level. If they just picked the right. If they just True. not. That they put a, a thirteen instead of one like Garlic Junior or something. That is very, that because is very if you true. look. You don't you have to like, think that they can actually get that advantage back either when they play you guys or when you guys play someone exactly. off and they don't. It's a, a especially now since we play the people in our division as well. That kind of an initial disadvantage, I don't think is that is as big as it was say last season. Well, I mean, you got Muscle actually has a quite looking through their fixtures. They have quite an easy first six mm-hmm. weeks. They've only got a couple of teams that are quite tricky. Yeah. And um, yes, yeah, so or I or yeah. or are we starting to see a downfall of muscle? Oh, it's it's always a possibility. I think we could argue that point for a while. I don't think we are. Yeah, just because. No, no I don't not think so. yet. If you look at if you look at how you know we've not we've only we've only taken a potential thing off Android 13, and he was still terrifying anyway. Plus, mm-hmm. they've got Broly who did really well. Bojack, who on his day is one of the best players around. No, I don't think we see a fall at all. And, and 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 the truth of that is that I really, really think if they had rotated anyone else out, they mm. would have won that match. I yeah. think it was their weakest. I mean, if it I think about it, it was close enough. It was close enough that if they had taken out Garlic Jr. and put in 13, mm. you know, it would have been no contest. Well, no, a contest, yes. It would have been a contest, but it would have been quite as close won as it, yeah. yeah. Mm. Kind of because the truth is, the truth is, the truth is, other than that one ultimate, Roshi did nothing. Mm-hmm. He did nothing. Team Gohan tore him apart, and Android Thirteen would have been able to make up that difference, I think. So, mm-hmm. but yeah, um, 
but yeah, we've been talking about that team for so <laughs> next one. Blades versus Namek. Uh me and Rebel thought Blades would win, Squee thought Namek would win. That was only quite close. I was so close. I was so that close. Was okay. And here was the thing though. Trunks and this is exactly prison. what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's not that I find it surprising Blades beat Namek. Mm. Not surprising at all. How it freaking happened. Yeah, God. That Namics was were awesome. ahead by so much. And then Trunks comes <laughs> like in and 50K. decides. K. That was insane. There's two ultimates on his last bar of health. One for 26,000, one for 23,000. That is insane. Yeah. Good job, Trunks. Basically 50k oh, damage. Yeah. Essentially an entire player and a bit of another one. Yeah. That hurt the the team's grandmothers. <laughs> it, it was, was that strong. It was it awesome. was it was it was it was it was uh even though the the team I was rooting for lost, I didn't care. It yeah. was a brilliant finish. That was a it wonderful was a, comeback. A fantastic match, yeah. So pff, good job, Blades. Ta- uh Janimba did okay. Um Yajirobe yeah, he was okay. did, it was okay. Right. Did pretty it darn wasn't, well. It wasn't impressive, but yeah, it was alright. He right. he did much better than um, than we were expecting. We thought Yajirobe versus um, was it Late Piccolo? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like every time Late Piccolo tried to get off a light grenade, Yajirobe just found a way to stop him. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did reasonably well. It wasn't it wasn't anything you'd be impressed by or scared by, but he did okay. Yeah, no, but then Trunks coming in at the end. <laughs> Fuck it, Trunks yeah. is insane. Good job, Trunks. Oh, yeah, man. hold on, Trunks. All right, and then we get to the raffle stomp of the week. Androids versus <laughs> Ginyu Force. Now I actually get what Ginyu yeah, Force. <laughs> yeah, you got that one wrong, eh, Suck oh, it. I got that one wrong, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, gosh, the other two thought androids, obviously. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It wasn't the androids versus the Ginyu Force. It was Cell versus the Ginyu Force with guest stars Android 16. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that was It was every amazing. once in a while... Every once in a while, Cell goes out there and just dominates. Yeah. And mm-hmm. this was one of those weeks. You surely and didn't put it in wasn't helped. <laughs> it wasn't helped by the fact that Ginyu decided not to show up. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> it was. It was bad. There was a point there where we were wondering if Cell was going to beat the whole team. That would have been amazing <laughs> to see. I'd have loved that. that and then there was. Cool. And then there was a point where we were pretty sure that Cell and Sixteen were going to beat the whole team, <laughs> and might have if he hadn't tagged out. Yeah. It was bad. Yeah, it was um, bad. I, I even I I even uh, Piff was even talking about he's like man that Dende's healing on Cell and I was like you know though here's the thing Cell's had Dende's healing for what two and a half seasons now yeah, or two, he's, two he's, full seasons he's had it to a point whereby we've seen him suck so yeah. badly it it's yeah. not it's Dende's just healing. it's just that's that's the thing of Cell every once in a while Cell comes out and is just so impressive it hurts yeah and this just happened to be one of those weeks and it just so happened to coincide in a week where Ginyu decided not to show up and the results were just no absolutely painful. that was a just really fun match to watch though I'm sorry I do enjoy those kind of dominations it, it is fun and then we get to the last match the best Earth match of the week. You know, the I don't Earth mind. Defenders. I don't mind the fact. I don't know about you, HK, but I don't mind the fact that I got that one wrong. Not really, because <laughs> I win anyway, so I don't mind. That. <laughs> I, I have to say, at least I mean, I'm happy that Derp has a, a good strong start because I do hope good things for them this season. I just wish it hadn't have been walking over my team. But uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, my team sucked. We, 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 my team <clears throat> didn't suck. I'll tell you, who sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Goku sucked. That's who yeah. sucked. Um, and Supreme Kai was was actually Pretty on his good. game that yeah, day. Yeah, he um, was decent. It was funny too because the commentary was okay. Well, at least we took out nineteen. That's the strongest player. And Piff's like, well, I don't know, Supreme <laughs> Kai. And I was like, ah, it's Supreme Kai. And then, oh God, Supreme Kai. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I think yeah. Goku was uh, missing Tien, his wingman. Tien <laughs> actually, at first, Tien was kind of disappointing me, but at the end, Tien actually showed up and 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 fought and did well. And mm-hmm. I was happy for Tien then. But um, Goku, damn it, Goku! What the <laughs> hell? You did nothing, nothing. Chaozu did more than you did. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You know what? It's the league. It's it's really. <laughs> and like I said, it sucks because the first week is always a huge morale boost if you can win it, and a huge morale blow if you can't. Because yeah. it's like, man, you started off the mat the season this way. But the truth is. It doesn't matter in the long run, especially considering that only one team in my division won their match. Yeah, yeah. So, really, I'm almost exactly where I was when the season started. So, we can mm-hmm. bounce back, we can come back, and we, we can be fine. However, it does mean that I have to give 2000 Zinni over to 
HJK. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, in terms of our gentleman's <laughs> bet, <laughs> HJK <laughs> got five out of the eight matches right. <laughs> I got four out of the eight matches right. And Squee got a measly three out of the eight matches. <sighs> I'm going to have to start betting on other things. I'm going to run out of money soon. Mm. Yes, so am I. <laughs> Speaking of which... <laughs> Did you get any of your bets right? Um, I got some of them. I think I got, like... Wait, let me put it this way. Did you have a net gain or a net loss? A uh, net loss. I mean, got 6k left. Ouch. How much did you have? You doing worse than so me. I, I, I didn't get my thing on the forum bets. No. I got that wrong. But I, do, I think I was... What, is it how much is a KO Ken? Is that 1,000? KO Ken's 4,000? Yeah, Kaoken's like the easiest, I think. Yeah, Kaoken's 4,000. Kaoken's only 3. Oh, no, 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 wait, Kaoken's 2, isn't it? Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, Solar Flare, I think, is the easiest. Hang on, let me go. No, <laughs> oh, 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 did we lock this thing? No. Uh oh. We should probably do that. Yeah. I'm gonna do that now. Yeah. I'll throw up another one after we've done the Z cast and. Um, <laughs> Do second week stuff. Dun, yeah. dun, dun, dun. Oops. <laughs> no, well. Dun, dun, dun. well, we can always see if people have edited it and when they've edited it as well. Right. That's and very so that's true. A, that's a thing. You know, that's so I'm gonna lock this thread. Yup. Moderation. <laughs> so, so well, a Kamehameha is four. I know that much. It's um. Him. So a Kaoken must be three. Yeah. Kaoken's three, and therefore costs. Four thousand? Yeah, yeah it costs four thousand, okay. It costs four thousand. So you so made your I've, money back. Yes, I've gained. So I'm still at ten thousand. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Pretty reasonable. Pretty oh, reasonable. Yeah. Uh, yeah. right then, so if we head on to week two then do Okay prediction y yeah. stuff. We go yeah. With? I need to get my money back. <laughs> oh, God. All right, uh, so the first match <laughs> of week two is the Super Saiyans against Team Cold. Squee, since you're the bitch. <laughs> yep. Hang on a minute. No, no, no. Oh, I thought no, no, no. that means I go last, yeah. Yes. Oh, whatever. Yes. Whatever. HK, since you won, then go first. I'll go super. This is kind of useless because I'm going to go Super Saiyans. <laughs> yep. Um, uh, Rebel, you know, I go think my I think I'll be going for Cold on this one, ah, in all seriousness. Enough. Okay. Um, I, I, genu I genuinely actually do think Cold has a decent chance. I think this is going to be a close game regardless, but so I, yeah. Yeah. it's going to be fun. Yeah. Squee. So, bitch. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really sitting here looking. Um, <sighs> You're the bitch. You should be bending Saiyans. over. Yeah, I have to go Super Saiyans, mm -hmm. honestly. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know. It all depends on if uh, if uh, Mecha Freezer... Okay, if your team starts throwing out Supernovas or not. Yeah. Um, it's think. really what it comes down to, because... Uh, I think that when it comes down to anything else, when it comes to B2s, Melee, I think Super Saiyans got you beat. Yeah. So it all comes down to how many ultimates do you throw in their face, and I think there's a good chance you will, but that means there's that... a better chance though that the Super Saiyans do. Yeah, Lots so that's I'm going so, yeah. Super Saiyans. No, that's perf that's perfectly reasonable. Um, I, I do think Cole's got a pretty good chance. We proved we can do the melee and B two game, and depending on how much spam we can throw out, we can beat anybody. But we'll see how the ultimate game plays out. It should be interesting. I'm it will quite, definitely be interesting. I'm always nervous against mm -hmm. any team, because I'm too nervous of getting competitive. <laughs> so, you know, no, expect, yeah, it's, yeah. Expect an interesting game. It is going to be an interesting game. You are right. Yes. So the next one in line is the Valkyries against the Saiyans. Ooh. Mm. This is... Mm. Um, I would game? say... I'm going to go the Valkyries. Ooh. Because... I think they're going to try and win really, really hard. Hmm. I think after their first week match, they have a good chance if they get it out and actually play well. But in all seriousness, depending on how seriously the Saiyans take this, even if they don't take it seriously, the Saiyans... They didn't play badly against the Boos, in all honesty. Just unlucky, really. They just got... <laughs> the booze on a day that someone had pissed them off. Yeah. I think I'll have to go Saiyans. In all seriousness, I think Perfect. the Saiyans, if they can get, especially if Vegeta, if uh, Scout of Vegeta plays well, that is going to be devastating. Obviously, if they bring out Bardock for this one, that's going to be painful as well. We saw him trying to do the um, final spirit cannon against the booze. Didn't quite work out, but it was there. Yeah. And Bardock's always a force to be reckoned with. 
you know, even the choice between Napa and Turles is is a pretty close one in all seriousness. Um, so I think I think the Saints have got this, but it, it's going to be another very very close game. I'm actually going to go Valkyries because uh-huh. I think it'll also be a very close game. But here's what I'm thinking. The Valkyries rotated, or, or Valkyries played with their weakest player this week, Zengai, mm-hmm. and took out Videl. On the other hand, the Saiyans took out their worst player, which means Turles is going to have to be in next week, and one of their better players will have to be out. And no matter who you take out, Nappa, Vegeta, Bardock, or King Vegeta, I think it's going to hurt them against the Vals. And if the Vals come in and show up with, um, like, let's say they rotate out Zengaya, mm-hmm. and they come in with Fasha, Videl, 18 and a Rayleigh, I think they got this. Mm, yeah, I think they do. So I'm going to go with the Vals. Could well be an interesting one. Mm-hmm. Next one is Dragon Ball Warriors versus the Boos. Now, this is kind of a biased one because we have just come off a match where Boo has just destroyed the Saiyans. <laughs> so yeah. anything other than a Boo victory is going to be a bit... What? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm... I'm well, Shut up, bitch. Really Shut up, bitch. You go <laughs> last. <laughs> last. Hey, okay. Who are you going for? Um, you're gonna put your faith in Dragon Ball Warriors again, or are you gonna change? I'm gonna go with Boo. <laughs> <laughs> gonna go with right. Boo. Um, as much as it displeases me to agree with the ultimate dick over there, um, <laughs> I'm actually gonna be going with the Boos on this one. Despite Dragon Ball Warriors come back last week, mm. I'm sorry, but the Boos, no matter who the Boos rotate I mean, in or out, they are gonna be a fucking terrifying something team. Something have taken into account, they've got to play Grandpa Gohan. So. Well, they've got to play Grandpa Gohan, and also, the Boos have got to play Kid Boo. Yeah. <laughs> if you throw that <laughs> match up in there, then hmm, <laughs> I don't see DB Warriors winning this. No. Yeah, neither do I. I have to go Boo. Bitch. No, you're just doing it because we want to. Yeah. yeah. There yeah. we go. Yeah. Yep, that's exactly it. <laughs> All right. I want to be part the... of the group. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth match of the week is Margins versus Rugrats. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Colossal I Dick. I spoke of it. Hang on, you can't call me a name. <laughs> <laughs> Only the bitch gets called a name. This isn't fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You won, so I, I thought I needed to give you a fancy title. I you don't colossal... get a title because you didn't win or lose. You no, no I got fifty-fifty. I am like the, the no picture one. No of one. mediocrity. I am no one. No one. Yeah. no one. no one. No one. Anyway, I'm also the one recording this and hosting the Skype call. So, do you really want to? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna make him do the voice again. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> so, who's gonna win, um, HJK? I don't know. I mean, I'm tempted to say margin. That's only because really, just statistically, they are the better team on paper. Right. I'm not really sure. I think Rugrats. In fact, I'm going to say Rugrats. Okay. So I think they're going to be putting out the strongest. So I think I'm just they're going to be putting risk. out the strongest, but I still think Margins got this. I mean, Margins rotated out Spopovich last one, so yes. they're going to have to have him in this time up against GT Goku. It's an interesting one. Depending on who the Rugrats throw out, I would probably suspect Cyberman, whatever the little green thing is. Um,. But mm, I still think Margin's got this. I think Margin's yeah, that, are the that's stronger team. Enough, yeah. Bitch. I, I'm I'm with I'm with Margin too. I think that um Ooh. especially if the Rugrats don't show up again. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, um but I think I think the Margins um Margin Vegeta did not do well last week. And the but still that's maybe not something that's anything. gonna happen a lot. Yeah. It's it's not something that we I should agree. expect. No, just he, against us. Just against He was that scared about facing off himself. That was pretty much it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it was like, ah, oh, shit, is that really how ugly I look? Oh, God. <laughs> is that what I look son. like without magic marker? <laughs> <laughs> Get away. Uh, right, then. Next one is Ginyu versus the Gohans. Ooh. It kind of depends. Well, who did Gohan start with this week, last week? Muscle? No. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, who, did they, who did they rotate out? They rotated out Future. Oh, wow. Okay. okay, so they started with Sa- Saiyaman. Saiyaman, Kid Gohan, Ultimate Gohan, and... Um, and bearing Tico. in mind, uh, Ginyu rotated out Goldo, I believe. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay, Gohans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in, all, in all honesty, I don't... I can't, especially not after last week, and now having been to bring in 
Goldo, who, along with Captain Ginyu, never seems to perform particularly well. I I have to go with HJ. I honestly cannot see Ginyu winning this. Mm. Bitch. Yeah, I'm same. I can't see. I cannot see uh, Ginyu pulling back. I uh, I feel bad for Ko. But, I mean, they have to bring in Goldo, and mm. the Gohans just beat Team Muscle. And let's be honest, it wasn't like they Team Muscle was derping hard or anything. No, Ginyu, no. Gohans just outplayed them. Yeah, no, um, just... And after a performance like that, whew, how do you choose Ginyu? I don't think you can, in all seriousness. All right, uh, the next one is Namek versus Muscle. May I check in? Hmm, how? Hmm, hmm. I am going to go with Muscle on this one, because they have to play 13. Mm -hmm. They will probably rotate out um, Bojack, I think, if I had to guess. Well, it is Namek, so it is quite a low-level team, so they probably won't be going with either of the major people so I'd say probably Bojack they'd rotate out. You also have to think in that bringing in Namix are going to have to bring in King Piccolo. Yes, how good is he? He's not bad. No. He's not bad at all. Well, he, bad. Okay, he can be, fa- he, go, he goes from middle to fantastic is yeah. what he does. Yeah. But who's uh, be because every once, in a while, every once in a while he will spam drum like, like nobody's business. Yeah. Mm. Um, again, as much as I hate agreeing with HJK, I... I can see just, Namek's winning. I would not be surprised to see no, Namek winning this, in same. all in all honesty. But I, after how well, despite the fact that they lost, Muscle still performed reasonably solidly. You know, with the exception of Roshi and Bojack, Muscle performed quite well. You know, Broly was amazing. Garlic Jr. didn't have much of a chance, but Broly, was, Broly was pretty standard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> The man could hardly breathe for half the game. <laughs> He was but, talking falsetto when the match ended. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't... Again, as I said, while I see Namek winning, I think Muscle have got a far, far better chance. Mm-hmm. I hate to keep agreeing with everyone, but yeah. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh, yeah, I mean, point. it's. I mean, how do you? I mean, how do you not choose Muscle? I, I, I can see Namek winning. I really could. But do I think it's going to happen? No. No. All right, no, on to another interesting match. Earth Defenders versus Blades. This should be interesting. Mm. Gosh. Blades have to play Cyborg Tau. Am I right? Not necessarily no, 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 no. They, they rotated out Tapion last time. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. Okay, Tapion. Okay. Um, um, <laughs> that <things, laughs> changes things slightly. And, who, and you guys have got Krillin coming in, so that's not necessarily mm-hmm. a bad thing oh. for you. But you have to rotate out one of the others. Who are also... Things mm. easy. Um, yeah. Alcohol. Well, maybe Goku, because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but even so, I would again. say. I don't know. Really. That's quite hard. They're both almost exactly the same. I would say. They're both rotating in good players. Probably going to rotate out uh, uh, average players. Mm-hmm. I guess it just comes down to. You know, trunks. So I'm going to go with the blades. <laughs> okay then. Um, I yeah, I really think this one's actually pretty difficult to call. It all depends on the rotation. In all honesty, mm. if Earth Defenders perform and the blades rotate out trunks, no, oh, I think the Earth it. Defenders got this. But yeah. I think that's pretty unlikely. I. I honestly would suspect that the Blades would keep uh, Trunks in, probably either take out Yajirobe or Cyborg Tau. Yeah. I and mean, despite the fact that Cyborg Tau is not, not terrible, he's not the strongest player on their team. And Style of the Strong and Super Plus One or even Super Plus Two on Trunks, that is not going to be pleasant at all. He only needs to throw out one ultimate to make that, in my opinion, to make that Patarad point. To a Patara choice worthwhile. You know, uh, and throwing out any more than that or even extra supers is just going to be painful on the part of the Earth Defenders. So, you know, even then you look at, at someone like Janimba or Tapion on his day will rip entire teams apart. 
Whereas the Earth Defenders is much more of a, I hesitate to say it, but a team effort. You know, usually what you'll have is maybe a couple of them performing well and taking a game, but it's usually at least two of them putting in a decent effort. You know, even if one player, even if one of their players dominates completely, there's usually backup from at least one other player to seal the deal. And I think the Blades can quite easily carry a game on the backs of one player. And even if they don't, yeah, I think the just, Blades have more players that are capable of it than the Earth Defenders do, just, at least just, at this point in time. Just ask Namek. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to go for the Blades on this one. I think the Blades will win. Cool. I, I'm I'm going uh, Earth Defenders. I think that uh, my team uh, didn't show up last week or this mm. yeah this past week, but uh, I do think that they are much stronger than they looked to be um, this week, and I think that we'll show that next week. Interesting. Okay, fine. Mm. Android versus Dup. I'm gonna go Dup. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, wow. I think that. Androids. I'm probably gonna. As soon as I say this, they're probably gonna go. No, we can't do that to make him lose. But I'm, I'm not paranoid. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> but I think they wrote it out a stronger player, possibly 17 or even Cell maybe. Who did they rotate out in the first week? Jero, I think. So they're gonna have to put him in. I'll probably put him in place of 16, 17, or Cell. Really? And, uh, really? Yeah, maybe. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> um, and. Yeah, Derp, I think, will just rotate. Who did they not play? They didn't play um, Dodoria. Oh, okay. Yeah, they'll probably put Dodoria in for someone. And... We'll have to. Yeah, shut up, brother. <laughs> yeah, I think Derp will probably just out-rotate the androids in this one. All right, then. My prediction is that the androids will win. And here's the reason why. If Derp... If you think that 19 does a lot of, quite a bit of grabbing, a you know, reasonable amount of grabbing, even if he's in for this one, they are going to struggle against that. Android 19 without his grabs to gain energy back and to gain a bit of health back is not all that great. You know, his supers aren't particularly good. His melee ain't that great, but his grabs give him energy to spam and health to stay alive. And against the androids, that'll be a lot more difficult. Mm-hmm. Bearing in mind also the rotation, Dodoria is okay, but meh, I, I, isn't she's not he it that thing <laughs> is not is not a I would never call Dodoria a strong player not at the minute definitely not at the minute she, he's not been around for long enough he's not seen enough games there's not been enough evidence that he can genuinely perform and with the exception of Supreme Kai I really don't see genuine strengths on the derp and we know that Supreme Kai is incredibly temperamental whereas you look at the androids you know even if they rotate out arguably their strongest player in 17 you've still got 16 to deal with you've still got Cell to deal with you've still got 20 to deal with and in all seriousness I think um, Android 8 is on derp's level in terms of strength of player and the amount of testing and stuff such they've been able to do on them. So, depending on the Android's rotation ideas, because if they end, maybe that they decide, right, we really want to win this game, so we're <laughs> going to rotate out Android 8. I mean, that's perfectly, that's perfectly plausible. <laughs> In fact, it might be quite a good one of just throwing Derp off slightly. And you have an incredibly strong team then. Mm. They might decide that, well, Derp beat Earth Defenders last time, and while Earth Defenders didn't perform all that well, Derp was still reasonably strong, so we'll pull out a medium player instead, we'll pull out 16 instead, and we'll still have 17 and Cell. And let's remember that Jiro is dangerous with his grab, even though it won't work against um, 19 if 19 stays in, it's still, he's still a dangerous player, you know, if they get certain times, if they get him right, he is amazingly dangerous. Mm -hmm. So, I'd, I'd give this one to the androids. I'm going to go androids as well, uh, mostly because... Um, here, here, here's the thing. I'm going to go with androids because Supreme Kai 
did really well last week, and he pretty much won that game for them. He, he, the amount of damage he did to Goku was just too hard for us to recover from. But he has not proven that he can be like that consistently. Mm-hmm. So I don't expect him to be like that consistently. And when you take away 19's ability to drain, in fact, to be completely honest, if Derp's smart, this is the week to, to, to um, rotate out 19. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, he's he's not pointless, but he's severely weakened. Yeah. Um, and that way you can keep him in for matches where he'll matter more. Um, but so, who you have left? You have Supreme Kai, who I don't expect to perform like he did last week. Nope. You have Dodoya, who might do well. You have Herc that will, if he's lucky, hold his own. Mm-hmm. And you've got Salsa, who's actually pretty good. But still, going up against the androids, I just don't see that. You, you, against the androids, certainly at the minute and the way we've been seeing, pretty right. good and okay is not going to cut it. Right. You so know, I'm going you need uh, to be, You need to be strong, I think. So, yeah. Androids. And that's week two done. Mm. So Squee has been individual only once. <laughs> Whereas HDK yes. and I both have a grand total of twice to our name. <laughs> Mm. Oh. Yeah. So is there is there a chance either one of us will tie? Who cares? We'll get to that later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's That'd too cool. much complication. Um. So yeah. Okay. So now we get into style of the strong before we uh, oh, end okay. Zcast for the week. Um. So we ran the numbers after what Trunks did because I was curious as to what actually went in place because damn, twenty six thousand was nice. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, as long as you're not on Team Namek. <laughs> Um, so here's what Style of the Strong does. It adds 20% to your ultimate. That's all it does. Yeah. It looks really impressive when you see the numbers, but Style of the Strong is basically spending 4 points on your character to add 20 points to one move, your ultimate. And on the other hand, Super Up 2 uh, Power Down 1 is a 1 point Pitar that adds 24% to all of your supers, not just your ultimate. Yeah. So, you know, uh, it, the simple truth is Super Up 2, even with the uh, p- power penalty, is a heck of a lot stronger than Style of the Strong is. Um, what happened with Trunks was that he had Super Plus 1, Indignation, and Style of the Strong. And what, what and he threw out both of his, su- his ultimates on his last bar of health, which means that you add the 20% for Style of the Strong... The I think it's twelve percent for the super plus one, and then indignation adds uh, every bar you go down. So basically, it was like a plus two because of indignation. You add all that together, and then you turn what is normally a sixteen thousand ultimate into a twenty six thousand ultimate. Yeah. Um, and and we also found out the numbers too because we were curious. Does this actually create synergy with the other Pitaras? Like for example, if I put style of the strong, which adds twenty percent to my uh, ultimate. Will the 24% added by Super Plus 2 increase? Like, does it count that extra 20%? No, it does not. Hmm. It, it does not stack. In other words, mm-hmm. um, if I put Style of the Strong, it adds 20% of my base ultimate. If I then add Super Plus 2, it only adds 24% of my base ultimate. It'll add them together, but it doesn't carry upon each other. So, um... If there's just so there, there's no debate, if there is any debate about style of the strong, you are literally spending four points to add twenty percent to one move. Yeah. Um, and it works. Gr- it works great for some characters, but let's face it: as amazing as Trunks was, what are the chances that he's going to do that again? Throw out two ultimates on his last bar of health. Pretty low. Pretty low. It's pretty darn low. Mm-hmm. So it's not something I expect to see a lot. No. And even if it, and even if it is, that's something that they've done. They've built well. Right. And, I mean, fucking hell, fair play to him. And it's still only one player. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I think Namek was just unlucky that he was the last one. Yeah, I don't know. Agreed. I, I agree. That was... That was you know, also, we have one question, actually. I just had a quick oh. look. And that question is from X Sith Spawn X, which is, Dragon Ball Warriors, was our victory a fluke, or are there any cautiously revised opinions? Uh, did we say they'd win this week? No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we didn't. Um, I mean, t- oh, fucking hell, we're against the, they're against the boot. So what do you yeah. expect? No. Um, again, still the answer is no. I. Whilst they performed okay, there's nothing that they did that was 
to my mind, particularly incredible. It wasn't like Goku was doing, early Goku was doing a bunch of Kaiokens and then an ultimate. There wasn't that. There wasn't anything that was hugely dominating by them. And let's face it, most teams that have their first character come out and absolutely slaughter the other team's opener and then start taking down the next player to, what was it, like half health? Was it something like that? Yeah, something like that. Like that? Those teams, you have to play phenomenally in order to get that back from most teams. And the Rugrats, usually, I would say you'd have to play phenomenally to get it back to the, from the Rugrats. But the Rugrats played so badly once Cell Jr. went down, it was unreal. So no, no revised opinions on that one from me, at least. That's kind of the wrong question to ask, Rebel, let's be honest. Revised opinions. <laughs> Revise my opinions? Heck no. <laughs> Are you going to lose this battle? No, you've lost this battle. I'm not revising I, my opinion. <laughs> I think, I think honestly, that uh, um, it, with Dragon Ball Z League, it takes more than one week to revise an opinion of a team, period. Yeah. It takes more than one week. We've all seen uh, the lowest team defeat the highest team, literally, <laughs> at any yeah. given Sunday. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, uh, uh, there's, a, there's a saying in the NFL called on any given Sunday, mm -hmm. and uh, Dragon Ball Z League fits that so perfectly because none of these teams are so bad that it's a foregone conclusion they will lose. So in order to revise my opinion of a team, I need consistency. Yeah. I don't need a one-week wonder. As fun as those are, as amazing as those are to watch and commentate on, especially commentate on, yeah. uh, they are never going to be enough to revise an opinion of a team. Mm. They are enough to pique interest and go, ooh, I, uh, let's, let's keep an eye on it and see if this is something they can do consistently. Mm -hmm. But until you show that consistency, no. No, definitely not. Mm. So, well, yeah. I mean, you've also got to take into account that was... DB Warrior's strongest team. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Probably not Rugrats' strongest team. No. Again, that's also very, very true. And the Rugrats are not one of the strongest teams. I think we can all agree on that one. Mm -hmm. For once, unfortunately. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, that said, it's definitely something. It's definitely something to watch. I mean, if they can keep that kind of, con if they can get the performances from the two Goku's consistent, then there's no reason why re opinions shouldn't be revised. Right. But they need to get the rest of the team up to par as well. I mean, Nam was terrible <laughs> it's like he literally did like well. two slaps and that was it it was almost like he was petting the little creature it's it just mm, yeah not impressed so have we got anything else or i have nothing else i think so i think we're good all right then folks um I'll probably Thank get this up tomorrow at some Thank point. HJK, I'm going to kick you from the call if you keep on doing that. Jesus Christ, uh -huh. it's creepy. <laughs> so, folks, we will see you next time before you all go and tear your own spines out. See you next Ta -ta. time. Bye.